This video intended for entertainment and informative purposes only, but the live commentary may not reflect this rating. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, it's Cloniclax9999. Welcome back, more Pikmin 2. In the last episode, we got to the final floor of the Dream Den. The final dungeon in this game. And I just want to take a moment to uh, appreciate this area real quick. I and many other people think this area kind of looks like a GameCube. Like, it kind of looks like a Nintendo GameCube with like the disc cover open. And like the ship's kind of in the area, the power button. And uh, all that stuff in the middle could be like the thing uh, that, that that you push, push the disc on. Put, you put the disc on, and that like, you could push down on to the uh, to make to make the disc pop out. Yeah, how many of you guys did I just teach that you can actually press down in the center of the disc drive in the GameCube to make to take the disc out? Because I didn't know that until a few years ago. I wish the PlayStation would do that. So here's what you want to do. You want to uh, have one captain take your yellow Pikmin. Remember when I said yellows were indispensable to you? Well, um, we're about to find out why. Have the other captain, preferably the one that has more health, take the rest of them and hide behind the geyser. You'll see why in a second. And uh, and uh, and now, once you uh, once you're ready, go ahead and go to all that junk in the middle. Is that Louie? Mr. President, I have located Louie resting on a vast mound of treasure! For him to venture to these depths alone, the desire of man is a thing to be feared. But Louie is not moving. Could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? There may yet be time. Quickly, to Louie's aid! Yes, we'll aid him. But not before this thing stops us first! Meet the final boss of Pikmin 2, the Titan Dweevil! And I just want to take a moment to appreciate his eyes. Look at his eyes, they look so cool. And Louis is kind of clipping through his body. Wow, okay. Um, so, let's talk about what the Titan Dweevil does first. The Titan Dweevil has four weapons. Uh, the uh, fire weapon, the flare cannon, the water weapon, the monster pump, the electric weapon, the shock therapist, and the and the poison weapon, the comedy bomb. Okay, it, um, in order of how dangerous they are, they uh, is the electric one, the water one, the poison one, and the fire one. So, so now, so it's you, now it's using the flare cannon. What it does is is it's a, it can only shoot in a limited range. So just get out of that range, and you'll be good. And uh, now that's uh, now that it's uh. I guess now that it's shown it off, I'll go ahead and uh, go after it. So yeah, all you want you know, want to do is you want to knock off its weapons before you actually uh, before you actually um, can damage it. The shock therapist uh, throws these uh, anodes every anodes everywhere, and that and that will make and that makes um, them basically basically it's an instant it's an instant death field generator, and if it and it oh my god. Any Pikmin that is not yellow in that will uh, will instantly die. Now, as you probably saw, um, the the uh, Pikmin, well, as you did see, the Pikmin were actually were actually um, I was actually taking damage even from that from that weapon, even though I was immune to like that electricity. Well, actually, no, it doesn't do damage to the cabin, but every one of these weapons can at least stun the cabin, and that makes this fight um a heck of a lot more harder. The next um. The comedy bomb uh, basically covers the entire uh, circular arena in poison. All you want to do is get up on a slope, and you'll be good. Um, when a weapon, uh, at now as I'm hoping it'll use the uh, the monster pump because I need to show um, what how that works too. Because um, oh, it's using the uh, uh, the shock therapist. I'm gonna try to hit the comedy bomb. Oh wait, I don't have any more Pikmin left to throw. <laughs> All right. Oh, now, now it's using the monster pup. Now, as you can see, these bubbles are going everywhere. He can hit anywhere on the entire floor. 
and uh, you base what you want to do is you want to uh, keep switching back and forth between your captains to um, to a nut to a whistle them because they don't have a lot of people and that's why I suggest um, putting the other captain behind the uh, the geyser because they don't really have a whole lot of places to run while they're panicking. Now it's actually likely you're actually pretty likely to um see to uh, see the tutorial for uh, Pikmin getting hit by projectile water in this fight. And I've seen that happen in two people's Let's Plays, um, those by uh, Chucky Conroy and uh, Slim Kirby. I think Slim Kirby was it. Um, uh-oh. Okay. Okay. I want to uh, knock off the uh, monster pump first. Now, I don't know if you had noticed it, but since we attacked the flare cannon um, a lot, the flare cannon actually started smoking. And, uh, basically what that means is that, um, the, the weapon will start, uh, malfunctioning. What, and that could arguably be a blessing or a curse, but depend, I'll try to show, um, what the, what, I'll try to show, um, what's it, oh, it's using the comedy bomb again, jeez. Okay. So, I think a bitter spray would be pretty useful in this fight, but, um, nah, stop moving. Uh, but, because ba basically you can stop it from moving and then uh, you can get a lot of Pikmin onto the weapon and, uh, get, and, uh, oh jeez, and, uh, okay, I suppose some people are probably thinking I should use the, uh, I should use, uh, the president, uh, to attack the Weevil just because it's funnier, but I will say, by the way, um, the Titan Weevil is probably one of my favorite bosses, and, well, actually, I like all the final bosses in the Pikmin games, um, but basically, I, we've been introduced to, um, the, uh, Fiery Weevil, the, uh, the, uh, Anode Weevil, the Caustic Weevil, and the Munged Weevil, and, uh, ba and, uh, basically, this is just a mixture of all of them, um, but... But the Titan, the Titan Weevil itself, um, cannot, uh, the Titan Weevil itself, um, cannot directly attack, so that's why it uses these weapons. Now, as you can see, um, with the monster pump malfunctioning, the, it's throwing the, uh, the, uh, the bubbles more rapidly and more erratically. I think we lost a few, did we not? Okay, we didn't. What? Oh, that, no, that Pikmin was just stretching, I thought it was, like, um... So I want to knock off the uh, monster pump, uh, mo uh, most importantly. Um, and then we can go after the shock therapist. Uh oh, comedy bomb smoking now. He generally uh, grabs uh, two weapons when you're uh, when you're uh, when uh, when he uses them. So I guess it's a guess on which one he's gonna use. <laughs> All right. Want to knock off the uh, monster pump? Oh, got it. Okay. Now, as you can imagine, the um, uh, the the his weapons are the uh, the treasures. So, if you have enough Pikmin, I would suggest maybe moving the treasures out of the way, just in case. But well, actually, now that we've knocked off the monster pump, I guess we can have the president come out and uh, have the president come out of his cave. And uh, I guess just so they're not in the way, we could move the. Uh, Oh no! Actually, I do not want to do that yet because the uh, because it still has the shock therapist on. Um, I love how the music changes uh, whenever he uh, uses whenever he uses a a weapon and like in different uh, phases of the fight. I will definitely also say I'm really glad that he doesn't have an explosive weapon for the volatile weevil. Good. But then again, I really I know that I know that purple's gimmicks were that they were supposed to be. Uh, uh, just big and bulky, but I kind of wish that they were immune to explosions. I feel like that would have given them a bit more character. And I want to move out of the way of this because I've had the th the, uh, sh the flare cannon cause me some real grief before. The fl despite the flare cannon being its weakest weapon, it can be a little bit more dangerous than it seems. Oh, it's using poison one now. Jeez. Using up a lot of risk with it. Whoa, what? What happened? This guy gets stuck on his leg? It's like getting stuck on the leg of the onion. Okay, I think the uh, shock therapist is a smoking now. Is it? Yeah, it's it's malfunctioning. Basically, um, it, the the anode it, uh, fall a bit more erratically, and they uh, also and they also uh, 
And they also get... Come on, stop getting hit. Get up! Okay, we lost a few, whatever. Um... I want to knock off the, uh, I want to knock off the, uh, Shock Therapist next, and then I'm thinking maybe coming in with the Red Pikmin, uh, not just for more damage, but also because the Flare Cannon really, like I said, the Flare Cannon can give me some serious creep. I don't exactly know how the, uh, Monster Pump, or, I mean, I don't exactly know how the, uh, how the, uh, Comedy Bomb and the Flare Cannon, uh, behave differently when they're, uh, smoking, uh, and feel free to, uh, enlighten us in the comments, if you will, um... Okay. Um, but we're, and you gotta remember also, this guy is not, despite, uh, behaving like one, the, um, this guy is not like, um, the Arachnorbs, um, like a BD, the biological family of the BD long legs and, uh, the man at legs. And also just like the man at legs, um, uh, he also cannot crush Pikmin with its feet. And... Um, oh my god, come on! This is what I mean by the Flare Cannon being more devastating than it probably should be. Actually, I have an idea. Oh, we got it. Okay, okay, okay. Now that it's, now, uh, that its powerhouse is gone, we can, we can have the president come, you know, let's have, let's give the president some time to shine in this fight. Let's have him take the reds. And actually, we still have some uh, red potion. Oh, never mind. I... Yeah, let's give the red pick him some time to shine. Uh, it's... Yeah, let's wait for it to use a weapon first. Oh, jeez. Uh, I have all of our go in the corner here. Alright. Now, let's use a spicy spray. Oh, we only have one left, actually. And now, let's go, let's go, and, um... Oh. Let's go, and, uh... And to try to knock off the, uh, the comedy bomb. He also changes color depending on what weapon he's, he's using, so that can, uh... That can be a plus, too. Um... This boss fight, as you can probably tell, it is pretty long. Okay, he's using Comedy Bomb now. Let's get out of here. I'm glad. I'm actually glad you can't hear the uh, you can't hear the treasure gauge going off during this fight because that would get annoying. Okay. Ah, jeez, I can't see. Wait, there's one guy with guy missing. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, we called the whites to me by accident. Alright, that was our last, uh... That was our last, uh, spicy spray. Let me use a spitter spray right here. Yeah, I feel like the yellows were also useful in this fight because of their ability to um, be thrown higher as well. Um, even though I feel like it, I feel like he's not really that much higher off the ground now. It looks pretty cool when he uh, when he is um, encased in stone. I I mean that that's not I mean that doesn't really look cool. I can imagine petrifying is pretty painful. I don't even want to think about that. All right, let's keep uh, keep throwing stuff at the bomb. Well, I guess we're getting the flare cannon because um, because uh, it, the Pikmin landed on it when uh. Now, oh, jeez, now let's get out of here. Wait, there's a guy. There's a guy missing. Olimar, save that red. Oh, he was right there. <laughs> jeez, that guy's a trooper. Yeah, obvious reference is obvious. And actually, just so I don't accidentally whistle on the guys back to us, I think I'm gonna take the, uh, take the other Pikmin, bring them up here. 
I like how we have one red leaf picking with us. <laughs> Jeez, they're not even getting they're not even getting on the weapon, they're just latching onto the treasure and trying to pick it up. That's honestly what I mean when I say it probably would be a good idea to maybe move the uh to uh, move the uh, treasures out of the way. But uh, if you want, but waiting until uh, day uh, 31 um, to uh, take, to uh, get a bunch of uh, sprays from those uh, those mites, those uh, ticks that you see, that you saw, um, that could be good, because you could, because honestly, I feel like all it really does is just make the fight go a little bit faster. But as you can see, tell, uh, this fight does last a pretty long time, and and I feel like a majority of that comes from failing to uh, throw at it. So here's what I'll do: um, wait for it to. Uh, okay, not what I wanted. I wanted to wait for it to uh, get tired, and then uh, then I would throw Pikmin at it, and then I'd try uh, using a bitter spray on it. Okay. Um, are you... Actually, I probably could have done it there. There we go. Oh, using the flare cannon. Let's try to get stuff on. Throw, throw, throw. I haven't even thrown one Pikmin yet. so quiet during this final block. I don't know why, but the comedy bomb always to me feels like the uh, the weapon that takes uh, the longest to knock off. Okay, whoa! Jeez, that's like a tentacle chasing us. Kind of reminds me of uh, Morpha from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Been really uh, spray happy today. Oh, I didn't take account of the height. That was bad. But this is the final boss. I will let you know, though, if you do beat this guy um, when he's encased in stone, he actually will drop a lot of sprays. But it won't really matter all that much because, um, but this it's the final boss. As I said probably multiple times, several times, in this thing. Okay, finally! Okay. Now let's... I did it again. Well, it lifted its arm up, like, right when I, uh, started throwing. Okay. Okay, now let's do it again, and let's, uh, toss, 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 toss. I don't know if my punches are doing anything. Whoa, we did it! And there we go. And personally, I think its eyes look more even cooler, uh, without him. And check it out! It's all jiggly now. Weaver or not, the Titaned Weevil is actually a gentle creature. Without its weapons, it pretty much is just a Weevil. It's only called Titan because it's big. All right, let's let's grab everybody and and let's and let's grab uh, the president. And now let's free Louie from this vicious beast. Let's just toss, 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 toss. All I can really do is just smack the Pikmin away with its feelers, which of course will deflower them. But but uh, other than that, it's pretty much at our mercy now. Just in this little room, and nothing else I can do. Can't call upon, even call upon its brethren. I will say, though, if it probably if it called upon uh, smaller big wolves, it probably would be in a more annoying fight, so I'm glad it doesn't. Alright. And now...
Louis? Are your life functions fading? No, he appears to only have fainted. He is always running into trouble. Instruct the Pikmin to carry him. There's not enough room in the cockpit anymore. We will have to keep him in the cargo hold with the treasure hoard. And there we go. The Titan Weevil has been defeated. And check it out. All four of its weapons are treasures for us to, for us to grab. Let's swarm them. Pick him up. I don't know why, but the beating of the treasure games seems uh, a lot quieter in, down here for some reason. I don't know why. Check it out. And now it's locked onto your face! Flare Cannon! And now it's ready to shock the life out of ya! Shock Therapist! And I'm going to give the honor of carrying Louie back to someone special. Oh, you're kidding me, they didn't grab onto the thing. <laughs> wow, that looks fun, sliding him around like that. And now it's ready to spray into your face, Monster Pump. Actually, now spray into your mouth and... Fill you up with hydrating H2O. Leave it, leave it. Leave me H2O. Come on, guys, just pick it up. You know, light that fuse and it just spew poison into your body. The comedy bomb. And I'd like to remind you that the that the uh, the Wisp of Wild is reused source material from the impact site. So I want to get if so I want to give the honor of carrying the last treasure back to somebody special. First Pikmin that was born here. The King of Bugs. Now I just want to address something real quick. Remember how they said at the beginning of the game that that 100 Pocos is more than a year's salary? Louie is worth 10 Pocos, which is presumably a month's salary? So, on Hoka do people on Hokutai literally put prices on each other? Or is it just the spacesuit he's in that's only worth 10 Pocos? There's no way a spacesuit is that cheap. I don't know. Maybe I'm just really overthinking this whole Hokate uh, currency thing. And with that, we now have 100% in Pikmin 2. Many souls were lost going getting here, but those souls will never be forgotten. Let's go. I uh, don't really want to go quite yet. Let's take, take one last look, guys.
16. But 21 treasures! Almost 6,000 Pocos! Although 4,000 of those came from the, uh, came from the Titan to Weevil's weapons with our 1,000 Pocos each. Damn. <laughs> okay. You've collected every treasure! Now we have the totals for the post uh, post repaid debt. A lot of Pippin, a lot of Osp, plus six of the fire, one water, one to electricity, 19 to explosions because the Gatling Grunk's some minute legs, five lost to poison, and uh, I didn't see how many Pippin lost total, but we definitely lost a lot in battle. Total play time, 17 hours and a minute. Under 10 in total. I guess that's not... I, I'd say that's about average. So, uh... This... Press A? Oh, I have to do it at the bottom, right? 